One of the necessary evils at the end of your four-wheel drive adventure is cleaning your 4x4. And we do that for a whole bunch of reasons. Obviously, we want our vehicle to look schmick, but on top of that, this mud that's coated right around and underneath this vehicle is actually laden with salt. So corrosion is gonna set in far quicker if you don't keep your vehicle nice and clean. But on top of that, one of the things you really wanna do at the end of a trip is to do a mechanical check on your vehicle. And you can't do that if everything is covered in muck and gunk. So we'll go through that little process and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve that might make it a little bit quicker and easier for you. Now, personally, I like to start off on the underbody of the vehicle. And the reason for that is simply gravity. Basically, you don't want to have all the heavy mud from upstairs flowing down on all the other hard work that you've done. So if we start at the bottom, blast that dirt off, and these elbow attachments are really handy so you don't have to climb under the vehicle yourself, then we'll go and do the suds, and then we'll do a final clean underbody. And that's sort of the process that we follow for our entire vehicle. So the purpose of this stage is just to blow off all the big muck that's on your vehicle and then we'll go into the suds and start to break down the stuff that's really baked on. A good quality pressure washer like this is just invaluable. It gets right into your mats, into those nooks and crannies, but as well as that, it gives you that extra reach to get the top of your glass and even up around your roof rack. But it doesn't completely clean the vehicle. The next step we need is to soap her up. Okay, so while those soap suds are doing their hard work cleaning my Amarok, I'm gonna see what the damage is under the bonnet. Incidentally, great time to wash your vehicle is late in the afternoon or in the shade. That way, these soap suds get to do their work for a longer time and they don't stick to your chassis and make more hard work for you. Now, under the bonnet is a very difficult thing if you wanna clean it. It's not quite as easy as the outside of the vehicle when it comes to using a pressure washer. I can use a pressure washer a little bit on my Amarok, on things like this nice big engine cover and the top of the air filter unit there and certainly up around here. But when it comes to those delicate electrics and those computers, you really wanna know exactly where they are before you pull your pressure washer out. If you're not sure, just don't use any high pressure stuff under your bonnet. You really don't wanna create any damage. Now's a good time to do a quick check on the hidden electrical accessories. Next step is where the elbow grease comes in, and we're going to use our wash brush to get the last bit of grime off the Amarok Stuco. And we'll finish off those last hard to reach places with the humble sponge. And we finish it all off with a rinse, starting from the top down. And here's a tip I learned from my son Bill to get some nice streak free clean glass it's to use a battery powered blower. Check this out. Now that we've got all that gunk off our vehicle, we can actually see what's going on. And that's the time to do your basic mechanical checks. So under bonnet, you wanna check your fluids, you wanna check your battery terminals and possibly throw a bit of corrosion inhibitor on those as well. So things like your oil levels, even your windscreen washer fluid, this is the time to top up your levels so that you're right for your next adventure. Aha, uh -huh, look at this, I have sheared a bolt off the front end of my bash plate, no big deal. But uh, these are the sort of things that you want to look for when you're underneath your four-wheel drive. You want to check out your suspension bushes and just see if anything's rubbing. And you can do that now because that big mud is off your vehicle. The other thing that you might want to check for as well is any place that corrosion might start. So if you've got some heavy-duty scratches under there that have ripped the layer of paint off and left it back to bare metal, that's when you want to get your corrosion inhibitors out there. These sprays like Inox or Lanolin, they're going to provide that nice protective coating to make sure your four-wheel drive doesn't succumb to the Red Devil rust. <laughs> 